Hey, hello, it's Joe from Joe's Rush Shop. I am uh, just sitting here. I'm going to show you some uh, stash ads. It's like 1130-ish, 1125-ish, Saturday. And uh, I'm going to show you these, and then I'm going to take off for lunch with the girlfriend. So, Ollie's finally got some more kits in locally. Um, I went to the two closest to me. Uh, there's another couple that are sort of in the same range. I just haven't gotten out to them. But I think I spent enough for right now. Uh, so anyhow, I went to the one, uh, I think this was in Hermitage, and I got the milk trike. Uh, I used to have this whole series years ago, the original ones. And uh, the ones I got from Daryl in his collection, I sold all those. So I picked one up. Uh, these newer versions, of course, they added a lot of, uh, extra decals, which are pretty cool. You got some stuff could be used on other vehicles. They're mostly smaller, so they're not going to work on anything really big, but there's some really cool stuff, like some diamond plate, uh, iron cross or Maltese cross, whatever you want to call those. One with flames coming out of it. A lot of cool little stuff. So that's nice. Also in Hermitage. Not really a big fan of these, but I drove all the way over there. I was looking for the altered wheelbase Novas, and uh, neither store had them. So I got this. It's kind of a, a nice modern vehicle. So I got it. Why not? For the $12.99. Then I had to have one of these. I know there's a taxi version out there too, but they only had the cop car version. And you get some extra stuff with it. You know, the cop stuff, which is kind of cool. Because if you want to build as a cop car, I may or may not. I got the a la carte. Uh, this one. Uh, what was I going to say? This one here, I heard it's decent, but I heard it's a little off from the original. The engine's a little bit undersized. And there's some other inaccuracies. But you don't have to build it as the a la carte. You can build it as a little custom street rod. So I'm not really worried about the quote-unquote inaccuracies. It's still pretty cool. I don't know how well it builds up or not, but uh, that's it. Then uh, I picked up this at the uh, hobby shop last weekend. Yes, it's sort of disappointing that the phone booth is no longer molded in plastic. It used to be clear plastic, and the silver areas were frosted, and you had to paint those yourself. Now it's all cardboard cutouts. I don't know if they lost the, uh, whatchamacallit, molds, or they just didn't want to make it. But it's still cool. It's got a better plastic now than the last Little Red Express version the texture of that red plastic. Um, I mean, there's still a lot of flash to clean up on some of this, as you can see, if it'll focus. There we go. A little bit better. But, yeah, it's still got some of the same old flash. But it is kind of cool in the fact that at least it's white plastic, and there's a lot of parts in here, so you could build it basically any way you want. You could build it as the wheel standard. You could build it as a... Getting it back in this box, though, is a whole ch other challenge for some reason. I think that should be a competition of model shows. Get a kit back in the box. Then I went to the Andrews hardware store slash hobby shop the other night. And uh, I picked up this. You know, it's a reissue. Um, they added some wheels. Some funky different custom wheels and the decals and all that. But it is a cool old kit. I can't tell you how many of these I built. Uh, excuse me. In my youth, I built a lot of these that were the uh, Countdown series. You know, the ones that said 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and all that. I probably built four or five of them. Back in my day, I did one actually. I actually did one with the custom front end, so I may actually do that again. Then today, uh, 
I did a little trading too. I traded some kits, so I didn't spend as much money as I should have or could have or shouldn't have, however you want to look at it. Oh yes, this is reissued. I built this back when I was 14 or 15, when it was new, along with the little Red Express, because they were both on the shelves at the same time. And uh, yeah, I built them both out of the box. I mean, I painted the interiors and the chassis on the Little Red Express because this was molded in black back in the day. And I painted the wood grain things, the wheels. I can't remember if they came gold back then or not. Oh, excuse me again. Had a late night. Got a call from my boss last night about 9 o'clock that he's in the emergency room and they're holding him until they can examine him further. Well, however, he left his dogs at the shop. And his, he didn't want his wife driving in the snow, so I drove out to the shop. It took me longer than normal because it was slick. And I went out there and let the dogs out. His dogs are really good because they had sat from like 5.30 to like 9.30 when I got there. And they didn't do nothing in the in the building, in, you know, in the office or anything. So I let them out, run out back for a while and brought them in. And hopefully they made it through the night until Tom got there. But, uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to eventually building that. Now it's molded in white. But it's pretty cool, and it's you know got some upgrades, which is really nice. Then I picked up this. Uh, he didn't have the other one yet. He had the uh, this is the sixty, I believe. This is the sixty, I believe it is. Yeah, they only made this unibody like three years, I think. But yeah, they got this one. And uh, I'll def definitely get the other one the that's not the unibody. And, but, yeah, I have to look up a line and see if this camper is even any bit realistic. Or is this AMT's license at a fiberglass type camper? I'm not sure. If anybody knows, I mean, I know they had some funky ones, but this one I just don't know. I mean, there's no windows in the front of it. Don't know if they made anything like that or not. So I picked up that today, and I picked up this. Yes, it's a curbside, the only downside to it. But, it, you know, it is kind of a cool old car. And it comes with some custom stuff that I probably wouldn't even use. But it has it. <sighs> Excuse me again. As you can see, it's definitely a curbside. Unlike the Nova and some of the other kits with the separate hood, they just don't come with the engine. You add it. Um, this one's got the molded on hood and, you know, no engine. But I'd make a nice custom, you know, maybe, or bullet bone stock. Either way. But this is my only complaint. It's the same price as the others. I really wish Round 2, AMT, whoever you are now, if you're listening or watching my video or if anybody else wants to pass this on to them, it'd really be nice if you maybe priced the curbside kits maybe a couple bucks lower. I mean, I know a lot of them have gotten retold. Some got, like the, uh, on there's dues, like the uh, GTO got clear headlights, or not the GTO, but the... Uh, Oh, yeah, the 65 GTO got clear headlights now and stuff like that. I know they did a little bit. They added new decals. <sighs> Excuse me again. But I realized they added stuff to some of these and retooled them and cleaned them up a little bit. But it would still be nice if maybe a couple dollars cheaper, you know. That's all. You know, because they're still cool kits. But, uh, yeah, so here we here we are almost 10 minutes and but i just want to show off some of the new stuff i got progress on some other things i'll show you later um i'll make a video on those but i didn't want to do that right now like i said i'm gonna put these back on the shelf and then uh get ready to go get some lunch i may repair the girlfriend's water heater today i may do it tomorrow her pilot light went out like three days in a row <laughs> At night, I was almost ready for bed, and I had to run out there and relight it. And uh, pretty sure it's a thermocouple, so I picked up a thermocouple kit. And I'm hoping, 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 hoping that's it. It's not her, uh, whatchamacallit, the control unit or anything like that. 
So I may do it today, I may do it tomorrow. It depends. <sighs> and there I go again. Oh god, yeah, I got all sleep deprived and it changed my whole schedule. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some of some of these. Like I said, they're the same old kits, you know, but molded one piece chassis on this, but it just got a cool factor. It's got a nostalgia factor. I actually had this back in the day, like I said, with the with the actual phone booth. But it also comes with a little do they even show it on the box? No, it doesn't. Um I think they mention it. Blah blah blah. I think it doesn't mention it, but there's a little uh like a basically a trike in there, a small phone booth trike. I believe all the parts are still there. Do it. You know what? Before I go, let's take a look. Oh yeah, let me go get this out of the box again just so I could uh because I remember the version I had had a little phone booth. Like see, there's your everything's cardboard cut out now. It's not molded anymore. I mean in the original issue some of it was cardboard and some of it was uh plastic. See and there's your decals, more cardboard, there's the phone booth. It is quite a loaded box, I'll tell you that. Let's see if the trike is still here. If they even mention it. I thought it was, but maybe they took those parts out. I saw some of them on the sprue. Now, let me there. There's the truck. There's the truck. There's the ladder rack. Which, you know, that'd be cool for other vehicles too. There's your engine and your chassis, blah, blah, blah. Now, there's your props for wheel standing it. I am not seeing anything about the trike, but I thought there was a little trike in here because somewhere on these parts trees, uh, let me see, there's wipers, there's, yeah, it was a little, there, wait a minute, no, is that it? No, deuce, don't help. But yeah, it was a little phone booth themed trike. There's the ladder rack, and there's Deuce helping. Yeah, they may not have a Deuce. Hey, yeah, you're such a goofball. I thought I saw something here the other day. Deuce. Hey, <laughs> God, I hope. Don't you? Don't you? You just gotta help me. I don't know if you're helping or not. I thought I saw, like, at least the forks to it. Maybe they removed some of the parts and some of them got left on the sprue because I could have sworn I saw the forks to it. Or some of the parts. Oh, there it is. Some of it. There's the little banana seat. It was like a little... little oh, these... Oh, and there's your fork. See, there's your fork. I don't know if the rest of it's here or not, like the handlebars. But yeah, it used to have a little tiny trike. And I don't know, it doesn't look like it's in there anymore because the instructions aren't mentioning it. So I'm going to ha hazard a guess as it's been removed. They just happened to have those parts on the sprue and they just stayed. So... If anybody has the original one or original instructions, look it up and let us know. But I'm pretty sure it did. Deuce, you have to be on camera. Oh, getting this back in here is such a challenge. There we go. Just And Deuce is in the way. He's everybody's buddy. See, when he's not on this thing, though, everybody asks, where's Deuce? So... There he is, and he's leaving. I think he knows I'm finishing up, and he's like, well, I don't need to be on camera anymore. Okay, well, now we're 14 minutes in, and uh, it's time to go. So, hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. 
Uh, I'll be doing something else a little bit later tomorrow, I hope. So until then, talk to you later and have a good Saturday. Bye-bye.